Hey everybody, Ministry of Hacking here with a super important video on OSINT tools in Kali Linux. We do not condone using these tools for any illegal activities. That being said, let's dive in. OSINT, or Open Source Intelligence, is the art of gathering information from publicly available sources. And guess what? Kali Linux, the hacker's best friend, has a whole arsenal of tools for that. In this video, we'll be looking at the top 10 OSINT tools that every aspiring ethical hacker should have in their arsenal. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more awesome cybersecurity content from Ministry of Hacking. All right, let's kick things off with Maltego. Now, Maltego is like your own personal private investigator except it works in the digital world. It's all about data mining and link analysis. Basically, you give it a starting point like a name, email address, or even a social media profile, and Maltego starts digging. It scours the internet, public databases, and even the dark web to find connections between people, organizations, websites, you name it. It then presents all this information in a really cool, easy to understand graph. Trust me, seeing those connections visually really makes it hit home. So, let's say you're investigating a company. You can use Maltego to map out their entire network, find out who their employees are, where they're located, and even uncover potential vulnerabilities. It's like putting together a giant puzzle. But Maltego isn't just for security researchers. It can also be used by journalists, investigators, and even marketers to gather information and uncover hidden connections. So if you're serious about OSINT, Maltego is an absolute must have. Next up, we've got the Harvester, another awesome tool that should be on every OSINT enthusiast radar. This one's all about gathering juicy information related to your target, whether it's a company, website, or even an individual. Think of the Harvester as your trusty sidekick that scours the internet for things like email addresses, subdomains, host names, employee names, and even open ports and banners. It's like having a little digital detective working tirelessly in the background, gathering all the intel you need. One of the things I love about the Harvester is its simplicity. It's super easy to use even if you're a complete beginner. You just give it a target, specify the sources you want it to search, and boom, it spits out a treasure trove of information. But don't let its simplicity fool you. The Harvester is a powerful tool that can uncover some seriously valuable information. And the best part? The Harvester is completely free and open source. Now, let's talk about Shodan, the search engine that Google should be scared of. Shodan is unlike any search engine you've ever used before. Instead of indexing websites, Shodan indexes devices. Everything is connected to the internet these days. Shodan scans the entire internet and builds a massive database of these devices. So, why is this such a big deal? Imagine finding all the webcams in a city using default passwords. Yeah, Shodan can do that. Security researchers use it to identify vulnerable devices. Hackers use it for less noble purposes. If you're interested in cybersecurity, check out Shodan. Chapter 4, Reconning Your Modular OSINT Playground Let's move on to Reconning, a tool that'll make you feel like a true tech ninja. In a nutshell, Reconning is a powerful web reconnaissance framework that's all about automating the process of gathering open source intelligence. Think of it as a Swiss army knife for OSINT, packed with all sorts of modules for different tasks. What sets Reconning apart is its modular design. It's built on a bunch of modules that you can mix and match to create custom reconnaissance workflows. Need to find email addresses associated with a domain? There's a module for that. Want to discover subdomains? Yep, there's a module for that too. But Recon-ing isn't just about blindly running modules. It also gives you a powerful command line interface that lets you interact with the data you collect, pivot to new targets, and fine tune your reconnaissance process. And the best part? Recon-ing is incredibly well documented. Chapter 5. Spiderfoot, automating your OSINT grind. Get ready to meet Spiderfoot, the automation king of the OSINT world. This tool is all about making your life easier by automating the tedious process of gathering intelligence from various sources. With Spiderfoot, you can say goodbye to manually searching through countless websites and databases. Just feed it a target, whether it's an IP address, domain name, email address, or even a person's name, and Spiderfoot will crawl the web, scouring for any piece of information it can find. Spiderfoot queries over 100 public data sources, including social media platforms, WatchOI's records, search engines, and even leaked data dumps. It's like having a private army of digital investigators working tirelessly behind the scenes. It also correlates all this information and presents it in a visually appealing graph, making it easy to spot connections and patterns. 
Chapter 6. Senses. Mapping the Internet's DNA. Let's talk about Census, the tool that gives you X-ray vision into the Internet's infrastructure. While Shodan focuses on individual devices, Census takes a more holistic approach, mapping out the entire Internet ecosystem. Imagine being able to see all the networks, devices, and services that make up the Internet, along with their relationships to each other. That's what Census does. It scans the entire IPv4 address space and collects data on everything from web servers and routers to industrial control systems and IoT devices. But Census isn't just about collecting data, it's about understanding it. It provides powerful search and analysis tools that let you slice and dice the data, uncovering trends, identifying vulnerabilities, and gaining insights into the Internet's vast and complex landscape. Chapter 7. FOCA. Unmasking hidden data in documents. Time to break out your detective hats because we're talking about FOCA, the metadata master. Metadata is data about data. It's hidden information embedded in files. Think of it like digital fingerprints on a document. FOCA extracts metadata from various file types. It reveals details like author, date, software, and location. This can be a goldmine for OSINT investigations. Uncover a document's author and track its movement. Identify potential information leaks within an organization. Chapter 8. Metagoofle. Extracting Metadata. Like a pro, get ready for another round of metadata mayhem with Metagoofle, a tool that takes metadata extraction to the next level. While FOCA focuses on individual files, Metagoofle specializes in extracting metadata from publicly available documents on websites. Imagine you're investigating a company and want to gather as much information as possible. Metagoofle can crawl their website, download all the documents it finds, and extract juicy metadata like usernames, software versions, server paths, and even hidden comments that might contain sensitive information. It also analyzes the extracted metadata and presents it in various formats, including reports, CSV files, and even visual graphs. This makes it easy to spot patterns, identify potential security risks, and gain valuable insights into your target. Chapter 9. OSR Framework your OSINT Swiss Army Knife. Let's dive into the world of OSR Framework, a collection of libraries that'll make your OSINT adventures a whole lot smoother. Think of OSR Framework as a toolbox filled with all sorts of handy utilities for performing various OSINT tasks. Whether you need to resolve usernames across multiple social networks, geolocate IP addresses and domain names, search for email addresses associated with a domain, or gather information from public databases, OSR Framework has got you covered. It provides a simple and consistent API that makes it easy to integrate these powerful capabilities into your own scripts and tools. But OSR Framework isn't just for seasoned coders. It also comes with a command line interface that lets you use its features directly from your terminal. Chapter 10, Social Engineer Toolkit, Set, The Art of Human Hacking. Hold on to your hats because we're about to enter the world of social engineering with the Social Engineer Toolkit, or SET for short. Now SET isn't your typical OSINT tool. Instead of passively gathering information, SET is all about actively exploiting the human element of security. Think of SET as your own personal arsenal of social engineering tricks ready to be unleashed on unsuspecting targets. It provides a framework for creating and deploying various social engineering attacks, including phishing attacks, website spoofing, and USB key dropping. You can craft convincing phishing emails that trick people into giving up their credentials, clone legitimate websites to capture login credentials or spread malware, and create malicious USB drives that infect computers when plugged in. But before you go full-on Mr. Robot, let me just say that SET is a powerful tool that should be used responsibly and ethically. Always obtain proper authorization before using SET and never use it to harm or defraud others. So there you have it, folks. Those are the top 10 OSINT tools in Kali Linux that every cybersecurity enthusiast should know. From mapping the internet's infrastructure to uncovering hidden data in documents, these tools will give you the power to see the unseen and understand the interconnected world around us. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Always use these tools ethically and legally. If you're interested in learning more about cybersecurity, be sure to check out Ministry of Hacking's other videos. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and keep on hacking.